when deciding which state to call home or set up your small business in, the cost of living is a major factor. Unless, of course, you're already rich. There are a lot of states in the U.S. that can be categorized as cheap. However, none comes close to the Yellowhammer State, Alabama. Alabama has a lot to offer, and although Sweet Home Alabama isn't the official state anthem, living there sure is sweet. With over 5 million residents and some of the most interesting history this country has to offer, Alabama is a perfect place for relocation if you're fed up with your own state. Today, I'm going to tell you why Alabama is so cheap and why moving there might change your life for the better. So grab your bags and boxes and let's start moving! But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Starting off with our number 5th reason, Tax Haven. Alabama has long been ridiculed for its national rankings in almost every measure of human development outside of football. But it is considered the most affordable place to live in the United States. Living in Alabama is less expensive than it is on average across the U.S. as a home. According to data from the Bureau of Economic Analysis, Goods and services in the state cost 13.6% less than they do on average nationwide. Compared with all other states, Alabama has the third lowest overall cost of living. One reason for that is probably due to the fact it is the lowest tax state in the U.S. This is a huge money-saving bonus that you get for living in Alabama. The sales tax of just 4%. This makes Alabama one of the more tax-friendly states in the nation. State income tax is also pretty low at 2.5%. Even Hyundai, Honda, Toyota, and Mercedes-Benz have located factories in Alabama, which shows the state is reaping the benefits of its low cost of living and doing business. Next up is our number 4, Real Estate Market. Alabama's real estate is cheaper than most of the states too. The state doesn't have a heavy regulatory burden and there's not a super high demand for housing, so the cost is truly a function of supply and demand. People coming from places like New York, California, and other expensive states find Alabama's housing to be very cheap. That's partly because housing in those states is costly. Another reason for the affordable cost of living in Alabama is lower wages. The state ranks number 48 out of 50 states nationwide for rank salaries. As an economic rule of thumb, wherever wages are low, prices are low too. The average cost of a home in Alabama's capital is way below the national average, which is at $118,000. Even if you're not looking to buy a house, you're still in pretty good company, as around 46% of the population are renters. Because of this, prices are rising a little too rapidly for comfort in some areas. That being said, you can still find some bargains. And if you're coming in from more expensive parts of the country, you'll probably still find it amazingly cheap. You can rent a fully furnished home in a relatively upscale neighborhood for an average of just $1,550 a month. For a one-bedroom apartment in downtown Birmingham, you'd pay an average of $970 per month or $1,090 for a two-bedroom place. In Alabama, the typical renter spends $772 a month on housing, which is $251 less than the $1,023 national media monthly rent. Now at number 3, we have Jobs and Wage Gap. While poverty is a big problem in Alabama, the state is doing everything it can to fight it. The unemployment rate in the state has decreased over the years and is now the same as the national average at 5.7%. Most of the time, people are just thinking about the South. You know, they're thinking Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and they just think everyone's broke and nobody has a job. Well, Alabama does have jobs. Even though, as we said, they're not as high-paying jobs as compared to other bigger states, Alabama is doing pretty okay. They were recently ranked number four in the nation for top states doing business. So if businesses want to move to Alabama, that just means better growth opportunities and pays for workers. The growth rate was up at the end of 2020 by almost 3%, which is a lot faster than the national average at the time, which was 1.5%. Kind of weird seeing Alabama almost doubling the national average here, but that's just the truth. As for top industries, there are automotive, 
tech, aeronautics, and chemical production. Alabama's actually ranked fifth in the U.S. for car and truck production. They got great production plants there. The forestry industry produces $13 billion in products every single year. In addition to that, Alabama is also the number one pulp producer in the nation. So, jobs are available in Alabama. They just pay less than other richer states like California, and believe us, that's completely okay. Living in California is almost twice as expensive as Alabama if you factor in the cost of housing there. So what if you're earning a little less in Alabama? Your cost of living is lesser too, which means you can enjoy a luxurious life there without having deep pockets. Coming in at number two are the other expenses. And it's not just housing that's cheap in Alabama. Transportation can also be a significant component of the cost of living. In Alabama, 94.3% of commuters drive to work, so the state has made it easier and cheaper to keep cars. The average car insurance premium in Alabama is $1,062, less than the $1,517 national average. How amazing is that? Utilities, on the other hand, come in higher than the national average, which makes sense. Alabama is known for being one of the country's hotter and humid states, so most people blast their air conditioners during the summer months, meaning bills are a little higher. Still not higher than California, though, which is the most expensive state in terms of electricity. Also, with most other things being so affordable in Alabama, a little higher electricity bill is not going to break the bank. Now on to our last but never the least, retiring benefits. This next fact is going to be music to your ears, especially if you're a retiree or reaching retirement. There are a lot of benefits for retiring in Alabama. The biggest one being, there's also no need to pay tax and Social Security retirement benefits. In addition to that, if you own your own home, Alabama has one of the lowest property taxes in the country. This helps especially if you're on a fixed income. Currently, Alabama is only ranked as the sixth best state to retire. However, in the coming years, I think you're going to see them get into the top five and maybe even the top three. Now let's talk about the best cities in Alabama for relocation. Suppose you're ready to move to Alabama now. In that case, we know you'd be interested in knowing that three of Alabama's largest cities, Huntsville, Montgomery, and Mobile are among the top 25 places in the nation with the lowest cost of living. Birmingham, the state's biggest city by population, made it into the top 30. All of these cities have huge historical significance as the American Civil Rights Movement has its roots here. In 1955, Rosa Parks refused to move to the back of the bus in Montgomery. Birmingham also houses the 16th Street Baptist Church, which was famously used as a protest headquarters for the Civil Rights Movement later down the line in the 1960s. In addition to its rich and diverse history, the Yellowhammer State has some of the most beautiful coastlines in the U.S. Luckily, it has year-round weather that allows residents to enjoy it. Although the climate can be hot and sticky during the summer months, this combination is perfect for spending time on the beach. Let's end the video with a nickname because we know how much you want to know its reason. Some argue that Alabama got its nickname, the Yellowhammer State, from the state bird, while others have a different, more authentic story. During the Civil War, Alabama became known as the Yellowhammer State after a company of young cavalry from Huntsville wore uniforms adorned with fine yellow cloth. The name spread until all Confederate troops from Alabama were referred to as Yellowhammers. Very touching. Okay, now that's out of the way, we hope you're convinced and already packing your stuff. That's it for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed it. Would you want to move to the great state of Alabama one day? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. See you in the next one.